Hello everyone, welcome to our illustration. I am Alex and we are practicing the Andrew Loomis way of laying in the face. So here I'm starting out just laying in the, the circle for the head, finding where the eyes are, finding where that brow bone is, which is the most important there is that brow bone because that's going to determine the whole direction of the plane of the front of the face. There are found the muzzle, where his mouth is going to go, finding the shape of his hair, finding his nose, and then coming in to put in a new refined sketch here over and over the top, finding our planes wherever we need them, finding our shadows. This is just going to be the guide for how we will paint this later on. Here, finding more shapes to the hair, the chin this beard, finding this nose again, main shadow around the eyes. And uh, now that we don't need that reference, we're just clarifying, finding more shapes, finding the planes we need to take, most important a note of, to get our resemblance across, simplifying where we need. Here we are masking out the areas of the face, so we're just going to have our lay in our skin, turn with the color dynamic brush same with the hair and uh, this just gives us a gives me a nice uh, starting point to start painting this face so next thing I'm doing is finding most of these main shadow shapes around the nose the eyes sides of the face the cheeks and the eyebrows and then laying in this main core shadows under the nose, inside the eyes, that are really the darkest points of the face. And then we're just constantly, we're, we're refining, adding a couple more mid-tones in there and some shadows, some darker shadows in here with the red. Here I've laid in all the shadows, I've found my, uh, my core shadows there by the eye, here under the nose finding the shape of the nose there, this frown, and uh, seeing if I still need that line art. And uh, I still do. Well, it's not really the line art, but the, the lay in Just find those shadows again where I've mapped them. That's the whole point of laying it in the beginning. So here I'm just putting in basic shadow shapes for the hair, as we've done for the face, finding a couple of highlights, Filling in some of that bright red, it'll creep through. There's more highlights. And I'm just using color dynamic brushes to keep things not too monotone, keep it slightly less digital feeling with those uh, flat planes of the same color. We're just constantly going back and forth, refining shapes, refining highlights and shadows and the in-between. So we go just saving off the face, saving those layers before we merge, flatten, and now we're painting on one layer for the face here. So it's important to uh, see at what point you no longer need your uh, guidelines for the planes for the face and you can just continue to refine based off of your reference. But never get rid of those, just keep them, keep them there for reference, keep switching them on every now and again just to check. Refining the skin, softening things up, defining things. Here we've softened way too much, and now it's time to go back and refine, find those harsh lines, define these eyebrows. Get some texture back, get some harsh lines back. And it's all about coming back and forth, bouncing back and forth between the two extremes until you've uh, found your middle ground. And certainly there are quicker ways of getting there. But well, while we're still learning, it's a process. 
and we find our way through it. As long as we just keep going. So here, defining these cheeks, finding these eyes, defining these uh, these eyebrows in there, getting the red in, finding this cheek once again. As it gets quite dark, same with these eyes. Laying in these eyes, getting these nice sea blue eyes in, gives him a lot more personality all of a sudden. Based on our reference, finding where those smaller and smaller little shadows and highlights are, and just putting them in. As we slowly refine this, uh, this frown of his, this brow bone, that's so central to finding everything else on this face. And the cheekbones, the forehead, and just bounce around, seeing what we need to do. And uh, this is, makes it a lot easier when painting on a single layer, because you can just grab colors and paint without worrying about what layer you're on. But that's just one way of doing it that I find easier in this regard. Here we go, we're just laying in a bit more red. Liven up his face a bit, merging that down again so we're painting on one layer and uh, continuing to define. So you see I'm not doing this in one process, I'm not doing all the shadows in one go, one all the highlights in one go. Once we've laid them in, then it's, it's just general painting. But uh, here, trying to rescue the hair, and uh, well, it's going to need a lot more rescuing after this. But there is always a time when we, we learn we need to stop. But I managed to, I feel like I've managed to save the hair after this point. I uh, just begin simplifying things, finding those highlights again. Finding those dark tones. Just creating definition where it feels like it needs to be there. We're finding those harsh shadows once again in the hair. Trying to add some texture. I'm just really playing around with these brushes, seeing which solutions they create, which problems they create, and uh, finding a way through. Here, once again, trying to find those shadows that were lost, and trying just to, to simplify things, especially since the hair needs to not be too distracting from the face. So, you're just simplifying it up. Finding those main shapes once again, highlighting them out, shadowing them, finding where they are once again. Add that red back in, we lost it along the way. And those highlights back in, and I really feel like this hair, while unrefined, was certainly an improvement from where it was earlier in the portrait. Just finding those shapes once again, simplifying where I found I needed to simplify. Cleaning things up a bit, refining things, and uh, just generally knowing when you've learnt what you can from a portrait, from a project. Here we are, the final portrait. I'm quite happy with it, especially for a, a one day learning activity. Certainly to be repeated. We've definitely more to come, more to learn. But looking where I've come from, even in these last few months too, to this point, it certainly has been quite the journey. And uh, I hope to see you and many more of you join along with me. Many more videos to come. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.
Tschüss.